Hi guys, hello and welcome to this advanced math class. Today we're going to be doing advanced movements um, and you know me, I like to mix up exercises and come up with little combinations. So I hope you enjoy it. Always remember, keep true to yourself, listen to your body, do whatever modifications you need to do. If you need to stop and take a break, just do so. Um, so let's get started. Crossing our legs, you can be sitting on a chair or you can do this warm up, up standing up, whichever is more comfortable for you. This is my puppy, Nico. <laughs> He's gonna be joining us today for our class. Okay, so let's start. I want you to feel your sit bones on the mat. Close your eyes and just feel your weight centered. Hips are squared, long waist. Imagine separating your ribs from your hips. Shoulders aligned on top of your hips. Ears away from your shoulders, long neck and elongating from the crown of your head to the ceiling. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Inhale. And exhale, squeeze the air out of your lungs through the mouth. Again, inhale. Your belly is still, you're breathing with your diaphragm in your lungs. And exhale, squeeze the air out. Two more times. Inhale, long neck. Keep stretching up like a rocket. And exhale. Pull the air out. Last one. Inhale, deep breath. And exhale, squeeze the air out of your lungs. Open up your eyes, take both hands to your shoulders, bring them up and let's stretch one side. And I want you to keep feeling that connection between your sit bones. So you're not moving, you're not rocking on your hips. And stay center, inhale, palms forwards and exhale, curl it forwards. Bring that belly back, round your spine. Release your head, shoulders, and arms, and come back up one vertebra at a time. Sit tall, imaginary wall behind you. Again, arms up to the ceiling, and this time we're gonna elevate the scapula and lower down. So you elevate and you depress. Keep your arms straight so it's just a scapular movement. Don't bend your elbows. Keep reaching through your fingers. And we're gonna repeat the reaches one more time up. So I want you to open up the sides, separate your ribs, stay center, palms inhale and exhale forwards. And slowly you're gonna come up one vertebra at a time with your abdominals and you're gonna sit tall. Inhale, we're gonna take a rotation to the right. Hold, push with your hand, push your leg, stay there. Now the arm that's on the back, Bring it up, look at your hand. And you're gonna keep rotating, but you're gonna find a side flexion. Now the hip, that sit bone still connected to the mat. Feel the stretch. Come up to your rotation and center. Let's do that other side. Inhale, rotate, push your leg. Bring your arm up and exhale. Find a side flexion with the rotation. Come up. And center, repeat, other side. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, shoulders down. Come up and center, other side, inhale. Exhale, stretch, come up and center. I'm gonna change views, you can change also if you want to, stretch your legs forwards, flex both feet, open up to the side, inhale, sit tall, and exhale, side stretch. Now again, feel the connection of that sit bone, the opposite sit bone, and come back up. Inhale up, exhale. See my hip is going down as my torso goes the other way. And center one more time to each side. Inhale, and exhale, 
Grow tall, inhale, and exhale, come up. Hands on top of your thighs, you know I love this one. Inhale, relax, spine stretch, point your toes. Come up, flex your feet, push your heels forwards, towards, toes back, open up the chest to a small extension. And inhale, exhale, release. Come up, it's just movement. Flex your feet, open up the chest, rotate your shoulders. And let's do that one more time. Inhale up, exhale, crown comes forward, belly comes to the back. Point your toes and reach, reach, come up. Flex your feet, torso up and center. Bring your hands to your waist and we're gonna circle our ankles. So you circle from the hips also. So look at my knees. They're looking out, in and up, and let's reverse the movement, circle. Keep growing tall. If this is too challenging for you, just put your hands on the back, but don't slouch. Just keep pushing yourself up and bring your feet together. Flex your feet, toes, pinky toes comes back so you feel it by the side. Tall, point your toes and come back. Ribs are in, point your toes and back. Again, you can be back here, a little bit more support and flex and point and four sections of the foot. Arch, just your toes, toes back, articulating your feet. Arch, just your toes, toes back, it's hard. Arch, toes, toes, grow tall. Arch, toes, toes, stay back. Just your toes, curl your toes like prehensa. Come back, toes stretch. Now open up your toes. And again, open up your toes and release. Good, release your legs. Let's scoot yourself forwards. I want you to align your heels with your sit bones so your knees are separated. Look in the back so that you have space to roll down. Arms forward, scapula, bring them back and together, shoulders down, find that long stretch. Inhale. Now, curling from your pelvis, curl from your sit bones and your coxie pubic bone towards the belly. Keep that deep inner scoop. Careful, don't round your shoulders. Shoulders are back. And you're gonna slowly, your face is forwards. You're gonna slowly roll down. One vertebra at a time. Keep scooping that belly in. Find that roundness. Slowly, keep reaching with your eyes and your fingertips. Slowly roll down. Slowly keep scooping, keep scooping. And bring your arms back. And let's stretch our legs and let's find a nice stretch here, like we're just waking up and stretch it out. Arms, shoulders up, reach with your legs, curl your spine. Good, and release. Arms by the side and let's do leg slides. Your legs can be, um, the one that stays down can be slightly relaxed, so it's not pointed or flexed, it's just kind of relaxed. I want you to bring with your deep abdominals. So we're gonna be working on those transverses. Abdominals, neutral back, arms by the side. I want you to slide one leg in, my foot is on the floor, knees looking up. I want you to rotate your leg without bringing the other hip up. So squeeze that glute and release the leg down, pulling with your abdominals. And again, inhale, leg slide open to the side so this is a great exercise if you're if you just had a baby postpartum it's really good to work on your deep transversus abdominals it looks kind of silly and easy but it's deep so it's really good open and release let's reverse it so you're going to rotate your leg so your knee comes by the side bring it up this time we're going to slightly internally rotate it and slide it down and again, rotate it, squeeze that glute, engage your abdominals, slightly cross and down, two more times, rotate, inhale, in and exhale, push and bring those abdominals up, last one, inhale, bring it in and exhale, release down, let's change the legs, inhale, slide your foot, see my foot is flat, Open up, squeeze this glute, and push it down. And again, inhale, out, and exhale. And again, 
It's your abdominal step. Bring the knee up and in. Out and exhale. Push it out. Last one. Inhale. Open and exhale. Let's reverse. So you rotate. Bring it by the side. Careful you don't bring the other hip. Cross lightly and push it down. And again, inhale. Cross and exhale. Push as you bring your abdominals in. One, two more times, sorry. Inhale. Cross and exhale. So feel that femur bone inside the hip socket. Bring it in and exhale. Bring it down. Good. Let's bring both legs up to tabletop position. Arms, you can bring them slightly forwards. Shoulders down, my abs are in, ribs are in. Let's do knee circles. We're gonna draw a circle on the ceiling with our knees. So we go inhale, exhale, circle, and again. Inhale, as you exhale, careful with your back. Yes, don't arch your back. So let's do that two more times to one side. Exhale, belly to the spine. So feel those abdominals working really hard. Exhale. Let's do other side. Your torso is really stable, really still. And I'm squeezing my legs together, my inner thighs. And two more. Inhale, my shoulders are still. One more. Inhale, exhale. And come back in, hug your knees. Bring your head up, exhale, release the air and down. Keep your legs tabletop. We're going to do toe taps. If you want, we have two options. You can bring your hands under your glutes so you have more lower back support. Or if you want to deepen your abdominal work, interlace your fingers, bring them behind your head. Now, inhale, curl up, release your ribs down to your belly. Now, point your toes, both legs, toe tap, and up, toes back. Now your metatarsals, and up, and flex your feet, belly to the spine, exhale, and up. Point your toes, we're gonna rotate our knees, and we're gonna touch the, um, the mat, and metatarsals, and up, and heels, come up, center, point your toes, rotate to the other side, and toe tap, and up. Metatarsals to the edge of the mat. If it's too challenging, just go halfway. Flex and up, center point. One leg and the other, toe tap, two. So really stable, careful with your back, see? So I'm pushing, I'm trying to find an imprinted spine. So I'm trying to push my lumbar spine down to the mat to keep um, keep them safe. Eight, four more. Long neck. One, two, three, four. Bring them in and release down. Good. Inhale and exhale. Stretch your legs out. We're going to continue with single leg circles. I want you to bring, you can, again, hands by the side, but if you want more challenge, we're going to bring our hands back and we're going to Perform our single leg circles. Let me move a little bit more back. Our single leg circles with our torso, our spine up, our thoracics up. So I want you to bend one leg in, stretch it up, hold for a sec and flex and point. This leg is gonna stay straight and I want you to point your toes so feel more energy coming out of that leg. One more and flex and point. Inhale, exhale, bring your torso up again. Ribs are in, my gaze is long, and we're gonna start crossing one, exhale up. Super challenging without hands on the floor. Three, one more. Try not to move your hips. Reverse, and one, exhale up. And two, exhale, challenging. Long leg, keep reaching through your toes. One more, open up. Hold your ankle, bring it in, inhale, bend your leg and stretch it out, circle your arms to the back, bend your elbows, hammock your head up, one, up and flex and point, flex, two more, 
one. Last one, point your toes, inhale, exhale, bring yourself up, your base is long, careful with this, long neck, and we cross, exhale up. Oof, this side is really challenging for me. So you're gonna feel that one side, it's more difficult than the other one. And reverse the movement, inhale, try to stay as stable as possible, two, three, one more, four, hold, stretch, and we're gonna bend that knee, hold, hands again behind your head, we're gonna do crisscross, float that other leg, bring your shoulder, not your elbow, your shoulder, and pull yourself up and crisscross, so it's one, two, three, again, don't push your head, long leg, five, six, Seven. Careful, it's not a bicycle. Yes, you stretch and reach and reach and reach. We're gonna do four more. One and two. Feel your abs. Very I'm certainly feeling mine. Four. Release and stretch. Good. Inhale and exhale. Good, guys. Let's continue with um, roll-ups. I want you to stretch your legs forwards and flex your feet. Bring your arms back. Now, before starting any movement, I want you to think of the roll-up from the posterior um, chain, from the back, from the back of the legs, starting with the heels, the back of the legs, the entire back, the back of your arms, and your head, okay? So we're gonna do roll-ups in four, movement so it's going to be a progression inhale as you exhale release your sternum down just bring your arms up and your head exhale and hold that first position feel it inhale down we're going to go higher this time just lightly inhale same position exhale and bring it down and again, push with your heels higher up. Inhale. Exhale. Push with your heels. And come back down. And we're going to sit up. Inhale. Arms. Head. Pass through all of those heels. And roll it down. And we're going to do an entire roll up, path, passing through all of those sections. Inhale, exhale, reach with your hands, scoop that belly in, ribs are in and engage shoulders away from the ears. Pull your belly back. Now feel what I just said, feel the back of the body and roll it down one vertebra at a time. Slowly keep reaching through your heels. And again, we're gonna do four more. One, up, exhale. Roll it down. And again, connecting. Up. Exhale. Roll it down. Let's do two more. And again. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Forwards. Careful you don't pancake forwards. Keep pulling yourself up and roll it down. Let's do one more. And inhale, up, exhale, roll it forwards, shoulders away from the ears, and slowly roll down, one vertebra at a time, and release back. Good, oof, I migrated on my mat, <laughs> that's good. Okay, good guys, we're gonna continue now with, um, we're gonna combine roll over with prep for rolling like a ball, stretching, it's a little choreography, stretching out to your open leg rocker prep position, and then rolling down and going back to your rollovers. Yes? My hair, I'm gonna release this. Okay, let's stretch your legs, arms by the side, bend both knees in, stretch them up. Inhale down, exhale, rollovers. Hold that position. 
pull your hips away from your ribs. Stretch your legs. Flex your feet. Separate just slightly. We're gonna slowly roll down. And we're gonna continue coming up to your rolling like a ball. Deep scoop, hold your ankles. Inhale. Exhale, stretch up to your open leg rocker. So I want you to stretch your back and your gaze go slightly up to the diagonal. Bring yourself in, exhale, scoop that belly into your rolling like a ball. And we're gonna continue through our roll over. Inhale, exhale. Separate and flex. Push your heels, slowly roll it down. Come up to your sitting, rolling like a ball. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale. Belly in. Inhale, roll it up and exhale back. Good, flex your feet, separate. Push your heels as you roll it down. Use your arms. Roll it down to your rolling like a ball. Hold your ankles, exhale. Inhale, open up. Find your balance. Bring it in, exhale. And two more times, roll it back and flex and separate. Slowly roll it down one vertebra at a time and scoop it in, exhale. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, scoop it in, last one. Roll it back and stretch. Flex and separate. Roll it forward, scoop your belly in. Inhale, stretch to that beautiful open leg rocker. Bring it back in, scoop that belly in, and slowly roll it down. Good guys, that felt really good. Release. Continuing with, we're gonna do single leg stretch with um, little variations each. Double leg stretch, single straight leg stretch, and leg lower. So we're gonna work more now with our, um, our abdominals. Good, so I want you to bring your legs into to your chest. So hug your knees, rock for a second if you need to. Remember, you can pause and stop between each. I'm not gonna do that, but if you want, you can stop between each of the exercises to take a little breather and then come back, okay? So we're gonna start with single leg stretch. Inhale. I want you to exhale, bring yourself up. Now, stretch one leg forwards. Hold and float it up, squeeze that glute. Opposite hand is gonna take the knee, see? Opposite hand and the other hand is going to take the ankle. Hold that position. Inhale. Exhale. Change. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Flex your feet. Inhale. Exhale. Push your heels. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, double leg stretch. Inhale, exhale. Now, bring your arms up, extend your leg in, neck, sorry, inhale. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, look back, extend. Exhale, scoop. My knees are slightly separated. Inhale, extend. And exhale, scoop. Let's do two more. Inhale, extend, exhale, last one. Inhale, extend, holds. You can stop now or we continue. Single straight leg stretch. So we're gonna do pulse, pulse, hold, up and down. Change, pulse, pulse, up and down. If it's too challenging or you feel on, on your neck, you can be down here, yes? And pulse, pulse, or you can be here, pulse, pulse. Yes, if it's you have tight hamstrings. Pulse, pulse, up. Let's do two more. Pulse, pulse, up. One more. Pulse, pulse, hold. Bring both legs up, interlace fingers. Hammock your head. So my head is heavy on my hands. Leg lowers with variations. Lower your legs, flex your feet. Rotate out, frog it in. Bring your knees to your elbows, elbows to knee, parallel and up. And exhale, rotate. Come up, two more. Rotate, exhale, squeeze the ear out. One more, lower, rotate in. 
parallel, let's reverse. One, rotate. Inhale. Bend, rotate. Exhale. Push, sorry, and up. And bend, rotate, up. Stretch, parallel, let's do one more. Bend, rotate, knees to elbows, elbows to knee. Push, in, up, oof, and release. Good. Oh my God, I feel that one. Inhale, and exhale. Hands behind your knees, and we're gonna sit up and stretch. Good, we're gonna continue with um, boomerang with jackknives. So we're gonna start one leg cross on top of the other, and I want you to also cross. So the same hand on top of the other hand, same as the legs. So if you have your right leg up, your right hand is gonna be up. So we're gonna fold forwards, careful, don't stretch your back, it's not a stretch. It's, we're still using our abdominals, and, but your head can be a little bit more released. We're gonna start with the boomerang. Inhale, exhale, release your hands by the side, and boomerang back. Hold. I want you to change your legs. Hold. Now we're going to jackknife up. Inhale up. Squeeze your hips to your head to the back. Push your legs forward. Look at my arms. They're working really hard. Bring the legs down and we're going to go boomerang up and hold. Ooh. Bring your hands back. Open the chest. Bring your legs down and go forwards with your boomerang. Release your hands by the side. Inhale, exhale, boomerang out. Change your legs. Inhale, now I'm thinking I'm pushing my glutes back, pointing my toes and squeezing my legs up to the ceiling for my jackknife. Careful with your neck. Bring them down. Roll it up. Find your teaser, boomerang up. Bend your elbows. Hold your hands in the back. Legs go down. Open the chest and release. And again, exhale. So the boomerang is a really dynamic move. Exhale. Bring yourself up to your jackknife. Squeeze your hoops. Bring it down. Boomerang up. Find your teaser. Hands to the back. Open the chest and come back forward. So let's do this one more time. Release. Inhale. Exhale back. Change your legs. Bring them up. Inhale. Find that beautiful jackknife. Squeeze those abs. Roll it back up. Find your teaser. Hands to the back. Open the chest. Open it up. And release forward. Release your hands. And slowly roll it up. Oh, good, guys. I'm going to take my hair off because I'm sweating. And it's all over my face. Good. Let's go do some um, prone work. So we're gonna lie down, facing down. Now remember, prone work, we're using, of course, our backs, but it's also a core exercise. So I want you to feel your deep abdominals to your TVA, really pulling yourself up, and I want you to feel that pubic bone. Just try it for a second. If you release, if you relax, you feel your back is um, slightly, your pelvis is more anteriorly tilted so it's your lower back it's more your lumbar spine is more curved and you're going to feel more compression here so if you push your pubic bone this little bone in front it's two pubic bones you can find that in anatomy class push your pubic bone forwards down to the mat and you're going to feel this opening up and you're going to feel your transversus abdominals really engaging so i want you to feel that throughout your prone work always to protect your back. Hand on top of your hand, and I want you to put um, your forehead on top of your hands. Your legs can be open slightly, or you can have them together, whichever works better for you in your back. We're gonna do thoracic extension. Long neck, shoulders down, scapula down, pubic bone to mat. Inhale, your gaze starts the movement, push the mat down, so I'm just going up to here, and come back. Inhale, think of a turtle sticking its head out of its shell. Stretch, 
and come back down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, up, and exhale down. Now I want you to bring your hands with your head. Inhale, up, and exhale down. Up, and exhale down. One more. Bring your hands back, put them on the floor, and continue with a swan. So the first part of a swan, you really don't need your hands, your arms. You can start working with your back and your abdominals. And again, I want you to feel that same thing again. So I want you to bring your hands slightly off the mat, your forearm. So I want you to start the first part of your swan, inhaling without your hands. Well, you can't do this anymore. Push yourself up to your beautiful swan, open up the chest, and use your triceps to lower. And if you want a deeper swan, bring your hands under your shoulders, right next to your breast. Inhale, and again, my hands are away. Up, push down and up. Careful with your back. Just gather up, push down, and slowly roll it down. Let's do this last time. Inhale, long back. Squeeze your glutes, feel your legs pulling away from you. Stretch it up and come back down slowly, one vertebra at a time. And we're gonna bring ourselves up to a single leg kick. You can either put fist or hand on top of the other hand like you're reading a book. Bring your legs together. Now again, belly up to your ribs. Push that pubic bone down to the mat. Shoulders are down. And we're gonna start with one leg. We're gonna go kick, kick, change, kick, kick. So I want you to connect your heel with the center. Think of your ischiums, your sit bones. Connecting with your sit bones, kick, kick. Four more. One, two, three, one more, four, and come down and down. Let's do double leg kick now. If you can, take one um, hand and pull it up to your bra line. Release your elbows down. So my shoulders are kind of internally rotated. Legs together. And I want you to stretch your legs so much and push that pubic bone down that your legs come out of the mat. We're going to do two little pulses, both legs in kick kick now as you stretch your legs connect your hands with your heels pull yourself up inhale change your head and exhale down and again kick kick pull your arms back open up the chest inhale exhale down inhale exhale inhale and come down and one one up Let's do this two more times. Release your head. I love this exercise. Release up the neck. Last one, bring your hands really high. Last one and you're gonna stay up and hold. If you can, we're gonna do rocking. Bring one hand to the foot, other hand to the foot. Inhale, bring yourself higher. And down, we're gonna do two more press. If this is too challenging for you, just do it with one hand, yes? and just push yourself up. But if you can, inhale, bring yourself up. And down, let's do that one more time. And we're, this time we're gonna stay up. Inhale, hold, and start rocking. Up and down. Careful you don't move either head. So hold your position. Forward and back. Three, two, and one. Release down, yes. Good, let's take a child's pose. That felt so good. On my shoulders, really nice shoulder stretch and release down. Glutes to your heels, round your spine and release. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. And come up. Let's do side work. We're gonna align our back with the back of the mat, with the back edge of the mat. Our hips are stacked one on top of the other. Our shoulders 
are stacked one on top of the other. You can hold yourself up here. You have a down here if your wrist or your elbow is, um, you feel it there. But if you can, try to stay up here and hang, hand behind the neck, head, sorry, long neck. Be careful with your alignment so your nose stays aligned with your sternum and your waistline is up. So again, I'm deepening those abdominals where it start with clamps. You open, you close. Two, so I, I'm feeling my femur bone going back, but I'm feeling my glute pushing forwards. So it's this effect. So my glute pushes forwards as my femur bone pushes back. Let's do four more. One, two, three, and variations. We go up and stretch, one and down. One and stretch, one and down. Up and stretch, down and down. Up and stretch, two more times. One and stretch, waistline is up. One and stretch, down and down. Really stretch both legs out, slightly diagonal forward. Flex your, sorry, point your toes. Keep your toes pointed. So you're gonna go up and flex and point and down. And up and flex and point two more. Up, flex and point and down. Up, flex and point now. Keep your foot feet flex. Now we're gonna go up and rotate and in and down. And up and rotate and in. Try not to move those hips. Up and rotate and in. Last one, up, rotate, in and down. Just rotate the leg that's on top, point your toes, develop it, drag your foot through your leg. Knee goes up to shoulder, stretch it up, flex and down. Drag that foot, bring that knee up, flex one more, same side. In, up, up, flex, uh, reverse. Up, flex. See my knee going up to my shoulder. So I want you to find that deep rotated hip flexion. One more, one, flex and down. Side kicks, flex your foot. We're gonna do two little pulses forwards and bring it back to your arabesque. So you're gonna go pulse, pulse, bring it back. Pulse, pulse. So think of your big toe to your forehead. Go back, pulse, pulse. Go back, let's do two more. Pulse, pulse, come back. Pulse, pulse, come back, stay there. Reach for a big, deep arabesque. So stretch this arm and find a beautiful line and feel the hips stretching out. Bring this knee in, put, put um, in front of your thigh, flex that foot and we're gonna do inner thigh, pulse. Pulse. If you feel it, you're starting to feel it in your elbow or your wrist, just lie down and point your toes. Careful with your ankle, this tends to happen. So align your ankle, pull yourself up, and you're gonna small circles. Small circles, circle, circle, reverse it, circle. Oh, I'm moving. Try not to move your entire body and release down. Good. I want you to pull yourself up. We're going to do side bends today. If you want, it's more challenging. One foot stacked on top of the other, or if not, bring the leg that's on top, bring that foot forwards. And again, you can do it. It's you do it here, but if you have wrist problems, you can just do it here or get a chair and prop yourself on top of a chair. Good. I'm going to do it here. So my elbow is rotated in and it's not locked in. I'm gonna bring my arm to the side. I'm gonna think of my hip pulling up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, find your side plank. Now open up the arm and side bend. And lower down, hover. And side bend, I'm thinking I'm squeezing my um, armpit and come back down. Let's do that two more times. And side bend. And down, stretch here and side bend. 
and up and down. Good. Release to one side. Inhale and up. Let's do the entire other side and then we will repeat that side bend to the other side. Align your back with the back of the mat. Let's start with our clams. Again, remember hip over hip. When you open your leg back to your clam, remember to push forward the hip against the femur that's going back. So you're gonna feel it in that glute, in that hip. Open up your chest, align your nose with your sternum and let's do one, eight clams, two and three. I'm really engaged in my waist. Six, seven and variation. You bring it up, you stretch it up, you bend and you lower. Two, up, long necks. Three, up, and try to think of your hip going up to your ribs. One more, up, stretch, down, close, and stretch both legs out. Point your toes, you bring them up, you flex your feet, you point your toes, bring them down. Up, flex, point, up, flex, point, and up, flex, point. Keep them flexed for rotation, one, Rotate back from the hips. Rotate from the hips. So feel those glutes. One, squeezing as you rotate. One, rotate. And this leg goes rotated and you bring it, slide it up. Knee to elbow or to shoulder, bring it down. Drag that foot, knee up, stretch, flex. Let's do one more. Don't forget about that lower leg. Think of your, that you are standing on the floor and that's your supporting leg. Reverse it, point, flex, bring that knee in and push and pull up. Bring it in, flex, one more. Long leg and side kicks, flex your feet. Two little pulses forwards, pulse, pulse, and squeeze that leg. Pulse, pulse, and squeeze. Pulse, pulse, and long neck. So use your hands like pulling your head away from your ears, from your shoulders, and pull. Two more. Pulse, pulse, and pull. Last one. Hold. Bring that arm forward to your long arabesque. Stretch, feel the hip flexor stretch. Hold, and bring that knee in. Foot in front of your thigh, and point and one to pulse. Again, remember your ankle. Really long ankle. If you can't feel it, just look at it and keep pulsing and flex. One, two, three, four. Again, your hips are squared. Your abs are engaged. Point your toes and circle. Two, three. I'm feeling this leg pushing the floor, that foot against the floor, against the mat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and release. Good, bring yourself up. Let's do our side bends. The leg sits on top, it's crossing over and forwards the other leg and I'm connecting my heel to my toes. Find your supporting arm, remember this armpit. Push it down, like squeezing your armpits. You're gonna feel that side really engaging. Open arm, inhale, exhale, bring yourself up and you're gonna Side bend, push your hips, push your hips, push your glutes, and bring it down. And again, push it up, push the mat up, and down. Two more times. Push yourself up, and bring yourself down. Last one. Push yourself up, push, push. Come down, and release, and take a side flexion. And to finish off, we're gonna roll on our backs again and we're gonna finish with shoulder bridging. So again, inhale, roll yourself down, reaching with your hands, arms by the side, align your heels with your sit bones. We're gonna do two articulation, two articulated bridges and then we're gonna continue with our shoulder bridge. Shoulders are down, feel the energy pulling you from the tips of your fingers, inhale. Exhale, let all the air out, pubic bone, 
two bellies and roll yourself up. Now, ribs are in. Careful you're not here. So if you're up here, you're gonna feel it in your neck, long neck, tip of the scapula and roll it down. Inhale, exhale, belly goes in, pelvic tilts. Now feel your sit bones pushing up to your femur. Now your knees are going that way, over your toes. And slowly roll it down. We're gonna do four hip lifts without articulating our spine. That's it. And two. And three. One more. And four, and you're gonna hold. Bring one leg up to tabletop. Stretch it up. Now without moving the hip, bring it down and up. Flex, down, point, down. Flex, hold, lower your glutes down and push it up. And let's repeat that again. Point just to your knee and up. Flex just to your knee, two more. Point just to your knee, one more. Flex, hold and roll it down. Bend your knee and four hip lifts. Again, if you need to align yourself, go. And three. Let's do it one more. Hold, tabletop, and point just to your knee. Up, flex down, point down, flex down, hold, lower, reach up, hold, point down, and flex. Shoulders are released. I'm sorry. And point up, down, and release down. Good. Bring your legs in. Hug your knees. We're gonna finish off with a little stretch. Let's start with a piriforming stretch. Cross that leg, hand behind the knee. Inhale. Stretch that leg up if you can. Hold those your metatarsals and bring yourself up. You can pull your hips slightly up. And down. Let's change legs. Piriforming stretch. Inhale, stretch it up and pull. And lower it down. And let's change to our sides again to do book covers. Hand on top of hand, hip on top of hip, shoulder. And I want you to relax your head, your neck, and you're gonna feel a nice stretch. Careful with your shoulder, it doesn't go up with you. So pull your shoulder away from your ear. If this is too challenging, you can put a little pillow behind, um, under your head if you can't reach your head down. Inhale, look at your hand. Gaze follows your hand and you're gonna stretch. And release all the air out, release. And come back here. And I want you to connect from one hand, arm, clavicle, clavicle, arm, hand, Feel that nice line, that stretch, and come back in. And let's do this one more time. Open up to the side. Now, stay there. The leg that's on top, you're gonna stretch it out to that hand. Try to hold it and push that leg to the hand and the other one pulls away. Stretch and rotate your neck. Bend that leg, bring the hand, hand in, and release that book cover. Good. Push yourself up the same leg. You're gonna bring it back and find your C position and stretch to one side. Inhale, release your neck, come up. Now we're gonna take a side stretch to the other side. Now we're gonna, um, automatically we're gonna do this. So push your hip down, like I told you at the beginning of the class, to find an opposition and opening. There has to be something anchored so the stretch is deeper. Now stay here, rotate your torso on top of your femur so your femur is gonna be in the middle of your cleavage. So stretch it forwards. Feel it under your armpits. Come back to your side flexion and up. Change legs. Stretch to one side. Inhale, careful. All the tension. No, release all the tension, long neck. Stretch to the other side. Now rotate your torso on top of your femur bone and stretch and rotate. Release everything. Come up to your side and up. Move it back and release my 
mat here and come down to your mat again. Let's do book cover. So I'm going to put this here. Hand on top of your hand, release, shoulder goes down away from your ear. So stretch that neck. Inhale, open out to the side. And again, feel the connection through your clavicle. And come back in. Start the movement from your wrist. So your wrist open up and your hand follows. And follow your hand with your gaze. Release your neck. And let's do this one more time. Inhale, exhale. Now connect your hand to the arm, to the clavicle, to the clavicle, to the hand, to the arm, sorry, to the hand. Release, find more rotation. Stretch that upper leg. Try to hold that leg in. Bend your leg, bring your arm up and close. Come to look. Good. Let's change down to our four plane kneeling position, our quadrupeds. Knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. Inhale. As you exhale, curl your spine. I'm thinking of my forehead meeting my pubic bone here. Find this connection so my abs are really have to go up and my arms push the mat down. Inhale, neutral spine and exhale, course. And again, inhale, exhale, push. Inhale and exhale. Now I want you to curl your toes. And as you go back to your flexion, I want you to push back, but your arms are still pushing and I feel it deep in my back. So curl that pelvis forward, bring it forward and open up the chest. And let's do our last one. Inhale, exhale, push, curl, keep pulling your head in, curl. This from my friend from Australia, Katrina. I love this stretch. And neutral spine. Walk hands one step, other hand. Inhale. Pull yourself up. Find your inverted V or your downward dog. Now stay here. For a deeper stretch, I want you to anteriorly tilt. So I want you to feel your coxie and your sacrum going this way. So tilt that pelvis that you're going to feel deeper stretch in the back of the legs. Tilt, release. Let's do that two more times. Tilt and push those heels to the mat and your hands away from your body. Center, walk your feet towards your hands. If you can, leave your hands on the floor. Now release your head, your shoulders, your neck. Abdominals in, pelvic floor engaged, and you're gonna slowly come up one vertebra at a time to standing tall and release. Let's look to one side, other side, parallel feet, feel the floor under your feet, other side, and stretch. Roll down, other side, roll down, one side. Roll down and let's do a reverse. Up and roll. Up and roll. Again, up and roll and up and roll and center shoulder rolls. One, two, three. Reverse it and one, two, three. Four, interlace hands behind the back, stretch up your shoulders, inhale, open up the chest, exhale, fold forward, do not release your hands just yet, think of your hands wanting to pass up on your head, release your arms slightly, slowly, and slowly, you're going to roll up with your pubic bone really engaged, roll up, roll up, roll up. And find your center. Inhale in. Push your hands together. And release. Exhale out. Good, guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the class. Remember, it was an advanced class. Please share and like and comment if you liked. If you want to see anything else, please feel free to contact me. Um, hopefully, 
um, we're almost going through six months, um, three months, sorry, of quarantine. So we're uh, slowly opening up everything again. Our Pilates studios are gonna be opening up soon here in Puerto Rico. So please come back to us. We miss you guys and hopefully you're doing good at your homes. I hope you've been enjoying all of this work I've been doing with my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for joining and have a great day, evening, wherever you are. Big hugs and kisses from Puerto Rico.